Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and in this RPG Maker Envy tutorial I'm going to show you how you can event your way around a set bonus. So if you've played Diablo, uh, the Diablo series after Diablo 2, uh, then you'll be familiar with the green items that give you a bonus if you have more than one of that type equipped. So um, I've made uh, a dragon set and when you have the full set you're going to gain an ability called Dragon's Breath. So you can see our skills here. We just have our Slice, Bleed Strike, and Assassinate from other tutorials. But we don't have the Dragon's Breath. Uh, but in the chest, I've put some items. So we've got our Dragon Plate Helmet, our Dragon Breastplate, our Dragon uh, Plate Gloves, and our Dragon uh, Plate Boots. And if we have uh, all four of them equipped, um, I have a parallel process event running right here on the, on the world map. So if we equip these items and then somehow get to any map that's got the parallel process, so you can make the event, copy paste it, copy paste it to any map in the top left corner, invisible parallel process that uh, will run in the background. Uh, you can check his skills. You see that we have Dragon's Breath. Now if we were to unequip one of these items, we would lose the Dragon's Breath as soon as we enter the map or exit the, the screen. So there is one uh, thing that I don't particularly like about this, but it's easily, I mean, it's not going to be exploitable because you're going to have to exit the menu to get into a battle to use the skill anyway. So um, we, we unequipped one of the, the items, so now we have uh, no more Dragon's Breath. So let's uh, equip the head and... Uh, if we immediately go from our equip scene to our skill scene, it won't update. But if we go uh, to the map and then back to the, the menu, you'll see that it'll update. So we have Dragon's Breath. So we can uh, unequip any one piece and it'll get rid of the skill. So you could, you know, put this skill on easily through the editor, put it on any one piece, but then all you need is that one piece and you'll get the skill. If you want to make a powerful skill that you have to have the full set to get the skill, then this is the way you would do it uh, as a set bonus. Well, one of the ways. There's many ways to do this. This is just one work workaround. Uh, like I said, we now have the whole set, but we haven't actually entered the... We're, in, we're still in the, the status or the, uh, the menu scene, so it won't show the skill yet, even though we're using all four. But if we were to just op close the menu, now we're on the map, and we go back to it, our skill will be there. So um, one uh, particular case this won't work exactly. Um, if it's like a, a healing skill, uh, the reason that you can use outside of battle, the reason why is you could uh, equip... Uh, your full set and get your skill that you could use out of battle then unequip stuff and then you would still have the skill if you don't actually exit the menu you know it's still there but if we were to, to close the menu and open the menu it would be gone so as long as you're uh, aware of the refresh uh, what's causing it to refresh it's the parallel process event that's right here and that uh, you could put on any map that you would uh, want it to be on so let's take a look at that really quickly so this parallel process event is pretty simple. Um, it's just doing a conditional statement that's checking if you're using um, all of, if the player has certain items equipped. So the first thing we're going to do is right click insert new and we're going to do a conditional branch and then we're going to go to tab 2 and select the actor that's going to be using the set. Now you could just design this for one actor if you want multiple people, multiple people to use the set you can just copy paste the entire branch and change the actual uh, the actor that's being used. So for this case we're going to design it one time. We'll say Driftwood is using the armor of uh, Dragon's Breastplate and we're going to create an else branch on each one of these because we need to have some way to remove the skill if they've taken off the piece of armor. So underneath when they have it equipped, you're going to nest another conditional. So you're going to basically do the same thing. Conditional branch, uh, tab 2, if Driftwood is using the next piece of armor, uh, the plate helm. And you'll do the same thing, but each time it's going to be uh, else creating, a, creating an else handler. And then once you've got all four of them built, uh, inside the the four the three nested uh, conditionals, you're going to do a change skill. So you go to actor uh, and then change skill, and you're going to select the actor that's uh, that you're checking to see if they're using the gear. And you're going to go driftwood learns whatever skill you want them to learn. In this case, it would be dragon's breath. 
then you can just copy paste that right here and then edit the one you pasted on the else handler you're going to be forgetting you're going to be uh, lear uh, unlearning all of those skills so every time you encounter the else handler you're going to do uh the forget dragon's breath so you can just make that and then copy paste it here copy paste it there copy paste it there and uh that would be it for one thing you can combine this with victor engine's uh new plugin I'm going to make a tutorial on that, so we'll get into that. That'll let you do all kinds of certain traits that you can change, uh, depending on if you have two pieces or three pieces. Now, you can also make uh, stat bonuses or um, parameter changes if you have two pieces equipped. And if you wanted to do that, you would just do it. Say we wanted to give 1,000 HP if they have three or more. So then you would select the three that they would need, and you can go to um, Change Parameters and go like that for the certain character but then on every else handler you would have to also copy paste this for the else handler of the three that it's requiring so on this one this one and this one you would uh let's see right here so yeah this one you would paste this and then you would uh remove that way you don't decrease a, a thousand and you do that there uh it also be to decrease copy that paste that now if they're using the the plate breast the helmet and the boots they get a thousand and if they add the gloves to it then they would get the the actual skill so um, this isn't maybe not the best way this is probably not the, the very best way I mean if you did this in JavaScript uh, it would probably be a more uh, customizable but if you just wanted to make a, a simple set bonus this is a way that you can very very easily make it work so I thought I'd uh, post this workaround for some of you guys who like to event workarounds, you know, who don't want to delve into JavaScript too much. So that's going to do it for this simple workaround for creating a set bonus in RPG Maker MV. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. If you have a, a suggestion or a comment or a special request, please put that in the comments below. I do read all my comments. You guys are very important to me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for being awesome, and we will see you in the next tutorial.